It's the go-to extracurricular for young boys and has been around for over 100 years. Boy Scouts of America has more than 2 million youth members and over 1 million adult scouts. But that's not why they're making headlines. On Monday, July 27th, a decision was made by BSA's National Executive Board to allow openly gay men to become scout leaders. Due to the social, political, and legal changes taking place in our country and in our movement, I did not believe the adult leadership policy could be sustained. The best way to allow BSA to continue to focus on its mission and preserve its core values was to address the issue and set our own course. And that's what we've done. Dr. Robert M. Gates, national president of the organization, said it was time for a change. For far too long, this issue has divided and distracted us. Now it's time to unite behind our shared belief and the extraordinary power of scouting to be a force for good in a community and in the lives of its youth members. The local Black Warrior Council sent out a statement saying, quote, our singular commitment to positive youth development remains our only focus as the BSA's national policy change on adult volunteer leaders goes into effect on July 27th. People also took to social media to express their feelings on the new policy. Eagle Scout member says he sees no problem with a gay man becoming a leader and thinks people shouldn't be so quick to judge. Just because uh, a gay man is uh, a Boy Scout leader doesn't make them a pedophile. And um, if a straight man can make a great role model, then so can a gay man. And so um, I totally 100% support it. And the local Black Warrior Council, along with all scouting programs, has a code of conduct that prohibits the discussion of sexual issues. Live in the studio, I'm Kristen McIntosh, WVUA 23 News.